good morning. The sun came just out and I went a bit up the hill and I would like to show you a bit of view out of the conservatory, which looks like this. So you can watch over the sea. And actually now I see in the, in the distance, I see another aisle, but I'm not sure if it's a clouds or it's an aisle. I will ask later. So, and um, this building, the yellow building behind the trees there, that's the conservatory. So I will lead you a bit through that you know where everything is. So this is the Aula Magna, that is a rehearsing room. There are two big pianos on this kind of stage, so you can use it as well as a stage. And, um, and here, there were in the afternoon always rehearsals with the children, with orchestras and like that. And all the equipment of this is all there, which is very nice. And then I go, to, so this, we are on the second floor. <coughs> So this is the, this is all the practice rooms at the, on the side, and they are quite big. Um, as, but they have a lot of children working in here, and this is, goes down to the other floors, which looks a bit the same. There are even more on the side as well, even more bigger rooms, like the, the Aula Magnia where I was, a glass roof, which sounds beautiful when it rains. And it, when it rains, it rains really hard. And there it goes as well to practice rooms on the sides. Good evening. I'm now here, standing at my balcony, in a small place called Los Gigantes. Los Gigantes. It's on the southwest coast of uh, Tenerife. Um, look my view. It's beautiful. Huh? So, um, this morning we had our last day, uh, our last morning with Garth Knox. Um, uh, we, the first hour where it was uh, my, the workshop of the Viola de Mora, uh, we used it to talk uh, the, about the Viola de Mora and about the um, uh, possibilities uh, with a, a group of uh, young students who were all in, into uh, composition. And it was really nice. So we had a we had a lot of uh, a lot of nice answers and questions. So that was very good. Some notes sound you know very resonant. Other very, others are very dry, and that's the interesting part of it. That's something you can play on musically to make more of a difference between the notes. So every note has, has its own personality, and not just a, a note. Have you ever um, linked it up to an electronic system? Yes, yes, I have. I was, I was saying I, I had a system with two microphones on. One microphone in the sympathetic strings, which only heard the sympathetic strings, and another which heard only the other ones. And you can differentiate them and change the balance. And what kind of microphone was that? Was that, that one? Was that, was the DPA, obviously, that yeah. the that's right. But for, for these ones here, I use a guitar, a guitar pickup, an um, yeah. electromagnetic pickup, which doesn't hear the other ones because it only hears electronic uh, metal strings, which are very close to it. Probably on guitar, they put upon it a pickup to guitar. Que escucha solo estas cuerdas, pues que no escucha los demás. Sí. 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 S
After that, there was still, he gave two more students a lesson, and then we had a meeting with some composers who wrote, uh, who transposed pieces they wrote for the cello and transposed to the viola, and looking what was possible. And of course, because we don't have a thumb position, there were a lot of things not possible. But it was a, was a really good uh, good talk with them. And after that, I went with all kinds of buses here to Los Gigantes because tomorrow I will have my day off uh, before my flight is going on Saturday, and I will go whale watching to my, tomorrow. So maybe I will share that with you as well. So goodbye.